Gary, can we put some raindrops on the display, please? Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Ladies and gentlemen, I got some unfortunate news to share with you today. General Hux has been nerfed. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like it is my duty to inform you all on General Hux. The other day, we talked about how this guy right back here at three stars, gear 11, gear 10, whatever it may be, as long as you had the Zeta over on Boundless Ambition, he was able to be a huge counter to General Skywalker. It was fan. It was just pretty darn amazing how great this unique ability was being used for uh, Sith Empire. And I said in that video, there's probably a chance they're going to nerf this because it seems a little too good to be true for a non-legendary character that really wasn't a huge, significant character in the Star Wars lore in general, at least up until this point. I said that there's a chance they're probably going to nerf this and contain it only to First Order. And I want to make sure you guys are aware of this because Capital Games is doing just that. And they're actually doing more nerfing beyond Beyond this unique ability as well so I wanted to make sure you guys know because I know a lot of people were chasing after the Zeta and this character I think he'll still be good and just in regards to the first order but if you're expecting to be a general Skywalker counter and to do that whole Sith Empire trick I wouldn't count on that <laughs> so just a quick summer before we get into it uh general skywalker uh he has so much bonus terminator on his team firstly obviously with captain rex that was the number one thing about general hux he stopped all the initial terminator coming from form up at the beginning captain rex it's hard to outrun him unless you have han solo he grants a ton of terminator to the team and because of boundless ambition on general hux he stops this ability right here and basically this ability becomes useless aside from the cleanse against general hux secondly i actually forgot to mention this general skywalker himself when he goes into solo mode he gets 35 percent turn meter after every enemy turn and general general hux stopped that as well and this is pretty big because general skywalker goes into insanity mode when he's all by himself and general hux basically completely took away this whole entire part of this unique ability right here <laughs> So, 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 Capital Games, uh, they decided that it was time for a nerf. So we're going to go break this down real quick, and I'll show you what the results are going to end up looking like. But I'll also show you what General Hux will still be able to do. He's not going to go to a garbage character. Yes, he's going to lose all of his all-around viability. That was the, the most amazing thing about him, is that he had a great all-around viability. He stopped bonus Terminator in general. The number one thing in Galaxy of Heroes, really, is... How do you get the most turns? And that's by speed and turn meter. And General Hux completely shut that down. And it's kind of funny. I, I, I find it a little bit surprising that they didn't think about this in advance and says it's an un, unintended interaction. So firstly, there was this post right here that kind of gave you the heads up. Literally hours after I made my video, I posted it. It came to Capital Games' attention. And they made this post. We are aware of some potential gameplay interactions with General Hux that were unintended. <laughs> It stops all bonus turn meter. <laughs> How's that not intent? We're starting the process of reviewing his kit and this interaction to, to determine whether any action needs to be taken. We'll be updating you once we know more. If you decide to make a change, it will likely occur next week. So, so this was on Friday when I released the video. And yesterday, they came out with this post last night and i'm actually a little bit surprised because they're going a bit beyond just the unique ability to make sure that general hogs doesn't work with other characters which kind of sucks i miss those days we could just put a lot of random characters together and something works but they're leaving that very exclusively to a very select few characters like watt tambor other than that it's pretty obvious at this point that capital games they just want the cookie cutter first order save the first order 501st save 501st sith empire really only save sith empire and sith for the most part so here's what they said we will be changing general hux's kit in an update later this week so it's not live just yet but after this update part of hux's unique ability boundless ambition and the leader ability as well bow to the first order will only trigger if he's in a full first order squad now i didn't think the bow to the first order thing was that big of a deal it's uh it's very easy for hawks to lose dominance and uh real quick just so you guys know if he did invest in the unique ability as well as the leadership ability this completely kind of changes uh, a lot of people's intentions for investing in those abilities so they will be refunding it bringing all those levels uh, all those abilities back to level one if you got it if you gave them a zeta mat they're going to give it back to you i'll show you that hawks uh, is still going to be useful we see that sith trooper is really good and stuff like that uh, but obviously the zeta is not as lucrative 
as it was before but it might be important going into the future all right so the leadership ability uh the thing i'm most surprised about the, that they're fixing before general hawks just in general just gains dominance if thrawn was in the lineup which i thought would be kind of a logical thing because first order right now they're a very heavy turn meter swap team turn meter from hawks to first order officer then first order officer uh to thrawn and then thrawn back to general hawks it was kind of cool seeing uh, how that was kind of a unique thing going on for them uh if you want the dominance that's kind of the whole part of the general hawks lead because other than that it's nothing uh too crazy you're gonna need to have a full first order team so as you see with the new thing basic attacks are, are still gonna do 50 percent more damage for first order allies but if all allies are first order at the start of the battle general hawks gains dominance at the start of each encounter and at the start of each of his turns if he didn't already have it i think it's a little bit overkill in my opinion but maybe this is looking forward in advance maybe there's gonna be some new characters and uh with hawks having dominance and getting this whatever new character might be uh they they might just they maybe they're looking forward in advance i think this is a little bit overkill and then boundless ambition now says if all allies are first order at the start of the battle enemies can't gain bonus terminator while general hux has advantage so that's kind of the main deal right there ladies and gentlemen so that all this means is you can't be plugging in general hux in your sith empire your padme your commander luke team and hoping to stop all the bonus terminator that the general skywalker and the 501st are getting so another blow to theory crafting in the game ladies and gentlemen i had to make sure you guys were aware because a lot of people saw my video and i wanted to make sure you guys are well aware of the current situation of it so i just want to quickly uh, if you didn't see the video i want to first show you what you're going to be missing out on with the, after this nerf goes live and Hux and how Hux is still going to be kind of uh, a useful character. So let me go ahead, set up a battle, and let's kind of get into it and show you what it's all about. So I'm not going to play these full entire battles because it's kind of pointless at this point since it's going to get nerfed uh, sometime in the future. But here's kind of how it goes down. I already kind of showed this. If you go in with your traditional Darth Revan team, whether you put in Sith Trooper, Sith Marauder, whatever the case may be, it's basically impossible to outrun a 501st Commander, uh, a General Skywalker team, uh, assuming they're modded properly. But you're going to get just completely obliterated uh, all across the board before you start taking any turns i mean you still can win you can definitely still win with the sith empire it's just gonna be a lot trickier without general hux now because as you're seeing they're just kind of putting in these big hits here boom he's gone she's gone not in a good spot we're not in a good spot right now i'm not gonna play out the rest of the battle there's probably a 25 uh, 20 percent chance of winning two against five not looking good probably no chance we're gonna be able to take everyone out and mainly it's because they had all that initial turn meter but now if i do that same battle all over again and take out sith trooper whatever's in your fourth slot and put in general hux this is the whole video i made the other day showcasing what happened solely because of boundless ambition stopping all bonus terminator right now the nerf is not live keep that in mind it will be coming live sometime later this week we hop in the battle let's slow it down captain rex tries to start out no bonus turn meter ladies and gentlemen and it was more exciting a couple days ago when we thought this wasn't going to be uh, anything on the radar for capital games and nerf but as you see now it's a completely different ball game and it's not going to be the case anymore ladies and gentlemen so i know it is quite unfortunate they're doing this but i still think you know general hux is still going to be uh, viable for things out there still this isn't gonna be something that's gonna completely uh make hux not usable as you know i've already made several videos showing this i'll show you one thing you can still do with general hux he's gonna have his uses i'm just basically making the point that he's not gonna be as all around viable as he was before as you see you can still do an underdog uh <laughs> a first order team which is pretty uh pretty significant up against uh, a, a full genos that's relic down that's pretty annoying as you see you get the terminator over the hand he gives the terminator back to first order officer resets the cooldown a first order officer gives the offense over to sith trooper you get a kaboom nice big hit they're gonna take out someone hopefully in a moment here and looks like first order officer it's gonna go bye bye and we probably should be able to take out this whole entire team at this point so the extra critical damage from general hawks is still gonna be helpful in the leadership but remember you're gonna need to stick to a full first order team going forward to make sure you could do stuff like this if you threw thrawn in there you lose all those benefits that dominance is supposed to give you and yeah even though his anti-bonus terminator is gonna be contained to solely uh first order you could still make use of it maybe not against general skywalker in the five of first but Captain Rex is still very prevalent in Shock T's lineup. And as you see, we stopped all the bonus to her. Yeah, we're still, still going to get out the gate a little bit, but we're still going to get work done, ladies and gentlemen. That is the whole point. Being able to have that anti-bonus Terminator is going to make Ca uh, General Hux and Sith Trooper a big counter to Shock T and the crew. So let's go ahead, get our mass assist going. We stopped all their bonus Terminator. So instead of them going around in circles, 
I got a big opening move right there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead, uh, pass it over to Hawks. Let's try to reduce his cooldown for his mass assist. Give that back over to this dude over here. Pass it over to the Sith Trooper. You know what? Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a gamble. Uh, I don't want to deal with the taking out fives for the next uh, five hours here. So let's just go and AoE, get a sacrifice going. There we go. Yeah, they're going to get their whole survivability thing going. But as you're seeing, uh, even though I maybe that wasn't the ideal thing to do, we're still going to pull out a win in this battle. So, yes, it is a lot more impressive uh, when you can get things like um, General Hawks just sit in a Sith Empire team and get work done. But this in and of itself is still kind of a good thing. Shock T has a very difficult clone lineup. He's still got to beat with it. has a lot of bonus Terminator. And General Hawks is still going to be useful for that, ladies and gentlemen. So, yes, not the most, not the most fortunate news I wanted to share with you all today. But nonetheless, General Hawks is still going to be a good character. Not as good as before, obviously. And if you want to get your Zeta back, you will get the Zeta back. Maybe hold back. My recommendation for you guys is, you know what? Maybe let's hold back. Let's see where the first order is going. We know that there's a new Kylo Ren and Ray. Maybe Hawks and his uh, anti-bonus tournament will be helpful in a Kylo, a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren team. We'll have to wait and see. Right now, only reason I say give Hawks the Zeta is if you want to have a Shock T counter that has a fast Captain Rex. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you did enjoy the video. Comment down below on your thoughts and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. Support the Empire! And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.